of Jesus. Oh, sweet Jesus. Uh, guess who was out bartending all night and needs a lot of coffee this morning to stay conscious? You got it. Yeah. Are you lacking camera equipment for your next film? Not anymore. Today, Zesty Mike is going to show us how to get all those cool shots, even if you don't have the fancy equipment. And it's Sunday, so today we're going to reveal the jackpot winner in the $100,000 sponsorship powered by Freedom. I'm your host, Tiffany. You're watching Impulse. Let's do this. What is up, Freedom? My name is Zesty Mike. Today, we're going to take the topic cheap filmmaking and run with it. Last week, we showed you guys that you can use cheap equipment, but still make good films. Today I challenged myself and tried to get super cool shots using nothing but household items you might have lying around your house. Dolly shot! Low angled static shot! Another dolly shot! I always say, Jib shot! Steady cam! Tripod! As you could tell, you don't need money to get those fancy boy shots. All you need is a creative mind. Now let's chat equipment. With filmmaking, you never want to have your hands right next to the sensor because if you do, it's going to pick up each and every shake. So you want to try to do what you can to further your hands farthest away from the sensor as possible. So whether this means use a tripod or a steady cam or a shoulder rig, you got to do what you got to do to further your hands away from that sensor. So what are some cheap solutions for filmmaking? Yes, you can do DIY builds for just about anything filmmaking, but there's actually some cheap solutions that you could buy as well. Tripods completely depend on the weight of the camera. You can get a lightweight tripod for $20 that's really solid, or you can get a heavyweight tripod for just under $100, and both of them are still going to do its job and do it just fine. You don't necessarily need to go buy a $1,000 tripod to get the job done when all you're wanting is a static shot that aims straight. Now when it comes to dolly shots, there's a lot of different choices. Now what I typically go to is a tripod slider, which prices you out right at about $100, and again, you can make your own a lot cheaper, or you can actually do a dolly that mounts directly onto the camera, like a pair of roller skates, and that price is out right around 30 bucks, so you can't really beat that. Now for steady cams, you can go with the Glide Cam, which is a handheld steady cam. You don't have to have the full suit and everything to make that work. Now there are cheaper solutions as well, but the issue with these are they're really hard to calibrate and get perfect with your camera to get that perfect smooth glide. So if you are willing to take that extra time and calibrate it for your camera and make it perfect for your setup, then I recommend something like the Rhino Steady, which is about $50, but it actually does perform really well if you take that time to calibrate it perfectly. Now jibs are a whole different story. Those things are really expensive, but I actually found a cheap one that works really well. The brand that we go to and actually use the most is Advanced Digital Jibs. These clock in as little as $150 and they still get those crazy awesome shots. And for a little bit more, I believe like $400, you can actually get the monitor and remote control and all the cables and an extra four foot extension along with carrying case. That's cheap compared to what other ones are in that price range. Well anyways guys, that's it for me today. If you want to see more of me or Brittany or even Tiffany, our host, we're all on our daily vlog channel where you can see us and live our lives through our faces every single day. That sounds weird. That sounds real weird. Anyways, the links are in the description if you want to check it out. But now let's take it back to the one and only Tiffany. There's probably a lot of Tiffany's, but she's the only Tiffany that I know. I have lamps and vacuums and things. Time to make movies. Bye. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. I know I need a real drum set. Let's see who's going to take home $400 in grand prizes based on organic viewership growth from the past week. And as always, you get to pick from all these lovely prizes brought to you by our partners with Freedom. Rick, if you please, because I need more coffee. I'll be back. By the eye of Thundera, your journey has been long, and with no shortage of peril, you have reached the moment some creators only dream of. The sudden epiphany that comes with trying something that works, learning to reproduce and refine it, that had to have been memorable. You've climbed from the depths of the unknown, and by doing so you see a bright light before you, but can't quite make out exactly what it is. Allow me! Four hundred dollars in grand prizes! Yes, I'm talking to you, GG254Gaming, you won! 
You've obviously been paying attention to the advice given by the Freedom Family toward growing organically. Now you get to choose from all of these prizes to celebrate 95% of viewership growth in the last 30 days. Now go forth, young apprentice, and embrace these relics, for this time, your princess is not in another castle. You have the viewers! Congratulations, Freedom Partner. You won the big one. woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Good job. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Impulse, and tomorrow Zach is going to go over another awesome game. I don't know what it is, but I know it's awesome. Tune in. I'm going to. Until next time, I'm your host, Tiffany, and... This much coffee is doing things. Mike! Get out of the bathroom! I see a sky with a rain here, car, but I'm running. What happened? Did you have a thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, it's like, okay, it's still a rough night. You're watching Impulse. No, okay, we can't use that, or can we? And now all... Yum, yum, yum.